So let's create a double bar graph and uh, with this discrete data and we can make a double bar graph if we have the same categories here but two sets of data, in this case male students and female students who uh, like this as their favorite sport. And so making a double bar graph is as easy as highlighting all of the information including the titles. And once we do that, we're either going to go to insert uh, chart or if you don't see it on the toolbar you can click down on more and choose chart and once you do that it's going to try to guess as to what type of graph you want to choose uh, there's a double bar graph is the default you could have a stacked bar graph if you wanted uh, we're going to go with double bar graph and go to customization um, and I'm going to change the title here to favorite sports and I can choose to put the legend and we need a legend here if uh, you have double so that you can verify which color is each you can put them on the top if you want so I'm gonna leave mine on the top and I can slide down here horizontal axis is already labeled um, it's got funny uh, numbers on the vertical axis so I'm gonna drop this down and choose left vertical and notice there's no title here so this is gonna be number of students and I want the maximum is okay at 50, but I want actually six grid lines. Again, starting because we're starting at zero, and that'll give us um, uh, the, the scale to go by tens. Everything else is labeled correctly. Uh, the only other thing I might consider is uh, choose to put uh, the values on there. That might be useful. And once I'm happy with that, I can go ahead and choose insert, slide that over, and that becomes my graph, uh, which I can resize if I want, and I've made a double bar graph.